Plastic Vicky here with you and today we're here for day number two of 30 inks 30 days and the ink of choice for today is Ferris Wheel Press Beaver Dam Brown. This is an ink that I purchased recently and I did um, a video uh, of swatching these because I didn't have a lot of Ferris Wheel Press inks um, and I was really happy to be able to support them because this is a Canadian company and uh, so that's very cool and a lot of people will say that their ink is very expensive but I don't think it's that expensive it depends on the size that you get this is a 38 milliliters um, of ink and it cost me $23 Canadian and $23 Canadian is is less than uh, for US people it's less uh, than 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 that so um, I don't think it's that bad and their packaging is really beautiful and I really love them um, you get there's a lot of companies that have inks that are pretty expensive as well so I think it's it's obviously if you go and get the 85 milliliters that's gonna be much more costly um, but I didn't uh, you know I'm not going into that because I have a lot of inks and I like to change my inks a lot and I'm trying to get a baby wipe because just in case I make a boo-boo um, and so I've got a lot of inks and I love to change them and so I don't want to get huge bottles because then I'm gonna be stuck with the ink forever and a day um, and I, I do share with my dad so technically these should go fairly quickly if, if uh, it's a, especially if it's a color that I like so I'm pairing it with my Birmingham 6th Avenue Flintstone uh, pen this is this is a pen I purchased on eBay a while ago and I got a really good deal on it and I keep mentioning eBay but I do get really good deals for pens on eBay you have it's kind of a touch and go because not all the time will you get a really good deal okay my is my thing in because this doesn't seem to be picking up ink okay come on I'm not sure that it's in that's the thing okay I think I had not put the the nib fully into the bottle because my problem problem here is that this this gets uh, stuck so clearly I'm not I'm not putting the nib far enough to actually be able to do this okay so we'll we'll do and I shouldn't have wiped my my nib oh well we're gonna do this a little bit different I'm gonna go and do it directly in like this I don't want to have too much so I'm not gonna fill it up to the brim and uh, put this back and be careful not to not to knock that over because that's the type of thing I would do so let's see will it yeah Okay, so put this aside and uh, attach this on here so that we can start the chromatography while we do all the other good stuff. Okay, so now it's time for the splotches. I didn't think my my pen would get stuck in there. That's so funny. That's a lot of ink. I don't think I need that much. That's still a very that's a big chunk of ink. Okay, I think I still have way too much, but it's gonna be that so this is funny because this to me is a purplish brown and when you think about it I did the full month of 
of September using purples. <laughs> so why am I using a purplish brown again? Well, it's all Menda's fault. She made me buy that one. Uh, but seriously, oh man, my my paintbrush. You can tell it's a it's a paintbrush from the the dollar store because it's losing all to all its. Uh, Okay, that one is good for the garbage because I don't want my ink to have to have the the paint bristles. Here we go, and uh, let's pull this out so that I can uh, use it on a page here because I don't like to waste. And close this off before I put it everywhere. So I'm going to put this to dry, aside to dry. And I thought it was a good pairing with this this pen because there's some really dark section in it. So it should be fun, and I really like using this pen. I've, it's not the first time I use it. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do such a long, long, long thing. Uh, okay, so I don't usually post it because it's a pretty big, pretty big pen. So Ferris. Oh, I forgot to put my. Just in case. Wheel. Press beaver down brown two. And this is Birmingham. It's the I always wonder. It's a it's a medium nib. So Birmingham Sixth Avenue. Flintstone. And I will bring you guys closer. Okay. So I'm using my little book that has thank you book. Has some text in it, so figured it was gonna be good. And I'm writing with thank you in mind because of the American Thanksgiving coming. Whoops, why not open? It's fun because it's it's a brown but it's not it's an interesting brown. So I like browns but not necessarily a huge fan of them, but this one is it must be the purple in it that really is uh making me happy. And then that And uh, it flows well. Um, it seems to be a well behaved ink. It doesn't do unless like I put it like here I put a lot, but it, it does it does show on the back. But obviously this is not the best of papers for fountain pen inks, but you can see like it didn't really go all the way through and it doesn't 
feather so it's pretty cool okay so let's go and check out the 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 part that's fun the chromatography and check that out it's a pretty cool one so you can see like there's blues and purplish so very fun brown color and it's very it's it's very different this brown than than any other like I don't have a lot there was only one that I could find that reminded me of it and it was the pilot Hiroshizuku Yamaguri which you're gonna see later on this month those are the two that I had that were the closest um, I don't have any other browns that are anywhere close to this and um, yeah so I'm curious to know what you guys think about this ink and uh, I will look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for day number three. Bye!